this feeling of powerlessness in the face of overwhelming external threat is very much what you know, childhood developmental trauma is. So we're tiny, we have this overwhelming external threat. It may be a, an abusive parent, it may be bullying brothers, it may be school teachers who are cruel, uh, it, you know, maybe bullies at school or whatever. Uh, it may have been an attack incident, a shock trauma incident. So what happens in that situation is that you get, you end up with frozen trauma because you can't fight and you can't flight. So you have to freeze. And so that kinetic energy is frozen into our grid. So that huge amount of kinetic energy, which would have been used to fight or flight is literally trapped in our energetic grid. So, and a lot of people to, and that creates a lot of tension and stress and anxiety. And so a lot of people to try and solve that will try to move to action or get rid of it somehow, or either numb it somehow through you know, addiction or whatever. So the very best thing, if we want to move to action, the very best thing we can do is actually to work on resolving and healing that inner trauma by bringing it gently, bringing it back online, fully feeling it and alchemizing it and loosening it and softening it so that we can, that we can feel again. And it's a, that's a long process. So that's why stillness, somatic experiencing are really important to this process because from that place of stillness, from that zero point, what you find is when you get to this zero point of stillness and this connection to all that is, like a hollow, you're like a hollow bone, the inspiration and the creativity and the, the, act, the action, the inspired action, Come, suddenly comes through so it's, it's a bit like drawing back a, a bow and arrow it's like pulling back and so when when if you pull back enough when it comes to releasing that arrow it has and focus that arrow has a lot of velocity and is a very powerful exact piece of action so you can instead of just crazily doing stuff you're suddenly moving to inspired action, which might be writing a song, or it might be forming a local group, or it might be an amazing video that, like the one that, that um, I did, which just captured the imagination, you know, and touched one person touching, you know, a quarter of a million people and the impact and the impetus that that created. So it is, it truly is, about inner work and there is a massive resistance to this idea of stillness because people who want to just move into action and what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? When, when you say, well, do nothing, it's totally counterintuitive and actually people get quite angry because in truth, most people don't wanna fully feel. They don't want to go into all of that pain that they froze in childhood. So it's much easier to try and get rid of it through you know, getting busy. So, um, you know, and so they'll say, well, you're not going to get anything done by, by meditating and going oh, I'm on a mountaintop. But that's not the point of it. It's through that practice that you can then move to inspired action, which is much more powerful than just doing, yeah. just getting yourself busy, 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 being a busy, headless chicken.